Alright, so are we back? Let me see where we are on the uh, live dashboard here. So sorry guys, like I said, I changed up my whole stream setup, so I moved areas and everything. So uh, so hopefully, yeah, it looks like, looks like we're back. So sorry about that guys. Quick restart to make sure we didn't have any uh, have any issues there, but I think we should be uh, should be back up, and that hopefully will be the last technical glitch that we have. All right, so we back. Thanks, uh, thanks, Blazin for the uh, for the follow. Uh, you guys were doing some damage already on the on the stream, boss. Um, okay, so yeah, so hopefully that'll be the last technical glitch uh, that we have. So the poll should be. Uh, let's make sure. Let, let's redo the poll here, um, and uh, let's see where we are. Uh, I'm going to end that poll, and let's see. Let's do it one more time. I don't know what is up with this thing. It's not liking where I uh, backed out of. Uh, so the stream's not working, Patriots, or uh... okay, good. Thanks, guys. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Um, yeah, so uh, so hopefully that poll. Uh, did you guys see the results at all? Could you guys see that? I'm gonna refresh mine too because I'm seeing uh, black screen also, Patriots. But I'm back. If you just do a refresh, mine came back, so it should be good. Because we are we're live on uh, we're live on Twitch, we're live on YouTube, and we're live on Mob Crush, Mob Crush right now, which is really cool. Um, so again, hopefully we'll have that uh, uh, we'll have it where we have Mixer up also for the for the next series. Has SPP made it on yet? Yeah, sorry guys for the technical technical difficulties. That's what I get for moving everything around. I literally moved everything to an, a completely different segment of the house. So, yeah, I think if you just do the refresh, it should be good. So again, SPP wanted to talk about um, the uh, the coaches that we play against and how do we play against those particular coaches. So hopefully he'll uh, uh, he'll jump on if he's not uh, not here. Thanks for the sub, Jesus. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, we can look at the OD leaderboards. We'll see how many people played at reset. Yeah, I had some technical difficulties, SBP. Thanks for thanks for jumping on. So there's the uh, the current setup. Windy City at uh, at number one. Should we should we clip that? Should we clip Windy City at number one there? <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, the good old. I didn't play it reset. I didn't play it reset. Really appreciate the support, guys. I mean, it's it's awesome. Hopefully, we'll get the viewers up, and then we can do some of the giveaways when we hit around the uh, the 15, 20 minute mark. Uh, I know some people dropped off because they thought things were uh, were falling apart here, but I, I think we're I think we're back up. Yeah, OD reset was today, so that reset at 11:30 uh, Eastern Daylight Time, Daylight Savings Time. So SPP, if you're uh, hey uh, Speed Hydra with the challenge me to a match, I get to get beat on on live stream at some point. So we'll keep that queued up and uh, combine with the with the challenge also. Yeah, you know I do it a couple. I've done it three four times maybe I think on the OD reset play, but usually I don't have time to play right there at that 11:30 mark anyway. Um, so it's not something that fits uh, well. It's not something that really is uh, you know is is. Uh, not necessarily you know cheating or anything like that it's just the way the game's set up right now is that those bonus points come through um it's just a, just not something that we would discuss for example on like the uh the discord or things like that you know but it's uh you know just so it's not got that you know more widespread sort of attention but certainly it's uh it's not anything that's uh that necessarily is against the against the rules um, uh, yeah, sorry guys, I'm getting used to that stuff too. Let me, uh, let me, I'll take a look at the channel points and uh, let's see what we've got. We can go ahead and play those up real quick. SPP, who do you want to, uh, who do you want to start up with? If you guys want to friend me, go ahead and friend me those guys that uh, that challenged, and we can run uh, run some of these while we're going through and uh, and talking. Finding my rewards queue here real quick. Yeah, I think SBP had a uh, had a great topic 
um, to discuss. I think that's uh, excellent. So who should we start with, SPP? Do you want to start with uh, going through Garrett? Do you want to start by going through... Uh, my username is vol for life number one So vol for life number one No MM. No, I put the MM just to separate it out on Twitch and some other things where there's already a bunch of vol for lifes that have made channels that they've only got, you know, like two, uh, you know, two different uh, streams that they've ever done. So I wasn't the first one on Twitch. But it separates it out a bit. Yeah, I always try to get the vault for life number one. So let me see if uh, let me see if uh, we'll fire off the uh, the poll again. Now that we're back up and running, I think. And then I owe combine. Yeah, so Reddit is uh, it's the Madden Mobile Community Forum. There's actually a link that'll pop up here occasionally. I've got it in the bot now, um, and so uh, you can click on the link, and that'll take you to the Madden Mobile Forum. So I'm a mod on on Reddit there. You know, it's the community, one of the communities that I support. Um, but we probably have about 35,000 users there, uh, where you know people can post you know things about the game, questions, content gets posted there. Um, so things that you can't really do on the Discord, where Discord's more about conversation. You know, and having that real-time interaction with players, Reddit still allows you to post back and forth, but you can post screenshots of things. You can post, uh, you know, videos of stuff that you're recording, cool things that's happened, and then it uh, then it keeps it. You know, essentially that post stays up, and then you get upvoted or downvoted depending on how popular that particular post was. So it's not a difficult concept, um, but the, and each of them are different. So Discord again is better for conversational things, uh, and yeah, uh, you know, S Man certainly we have much less censorship on on Reddit because uh, you know the Discord is an EA official product, and so there are a whole lot of legal issues that you have to be aware of and uh, keep things uh, isolated in that way. Uh, whereas on Reddit, it is is, uh, you know, the official Madden Mobile Reddit, but it's not something that's directly sponsored by EA. And so because of that, uh, you know, it's ran by us, the mods, Carl, uh, Hosky, uh, uh, F those unique names. So there's a Crispy, those guys. So those, it's all uh, a group of people that run it. But, you know, we're a lot more lenient in terms of content that we allow. I mean, still, basic things apply. No targeting of people. You know, you can't, uh, you can't be, uh, uh, we, we have, we're very strict on harassment and toxicity. Uh, so those sorts of things we remove uh, uh, immediately. But, uh, but, yeah, jump on, check it out. I mean, it's a cool, uh, a cool resource. So let me jump in and uh, let's get the... Uh, request queue here and we'll uh, we'll knock out some of these so uh, we'll start maybe with uh, with Garrett we can talk uh, we, we can go through oh man and I'm sorry I missed uh, I, there's a lot of queue things that I've uh, I've missed here and I apologize I owe you guys a few things here um, oh Fred a match from five days ago good grief thanks for the cheer um, so let's jump in we'll play and we'll play as we go um, the uh, We'll play as we go. We'll talk about. Uh, we'll, we'll, let's start with uh, with the worst one. Fred, if you're on, do you want to whip me in a in a match again? And we'll just churn through these as we go and discuss. That way we can play instead of you guys just listening to me yap for uh, for a while, and uh, and we'll go. So Fred, if you're on, let's uh, let's maybe me and you play up. And which coach? Which coach do you use, Fred? Thanks for the cheer, Jesus. Yeah, that's what I thought, Lynn. Um, so let's take a look at Lynn, and uh, Fred's going to just tear me to pieces. Just let's be honest about it. But the uh, you know the key thing here with Lynn is you've got to watch out how these uh, uh, initially that you're going to get this increased blitz. So if you have uh, the situation where uh, you know they've got the O line reduced or you're significantly reduced in a match, like I'm going to be against Fred, um, then that increased blitz starts to go uh, starts to go nuts. It really does uh, it really does tear into your line uh, unless you can boost that back up. Uh, you have to look at the coverage change or not coverage changes in the, in his case, but you're looking at the boosts that are going to be applied. So the cornerbacks, middle linebackers, line 
linebackers. They're going to see increases to man coverage, pursuit, uh, zone coverage, and, and it's a total of uh, seven extra pursuit for the cornerbacks and safeties. So even if you're playing in a situation where you are uh, where you've reduced their team, uh, by the time they get through that second tier of tactics, you know their cornerbacks, middle linebackers, and linebackers are going to be pretty well boosted uh, to a to a tough level. Uh, yeah, so the betting, uh, you can pull up the betting command. If you guys forget, you can just type exclamation betting, and then that will actually give you the rules on how to bet along with uh, the bot when it actually uh, when it goes. So I'm going to mark. Um, our setup. So, the key thing with Lynn is that you know the, the most of the people are going to fire off that wide receiver uh, points bonus, and so you really need to, in my opinion, be able to test out whether or not you're going to be able to get the ball deep down the field. If you cannot, or if you can get the ball deep down the field, then you're going to want to just ride that wide receiver rule out and try to see if you can abuse it yourself, right, and get the points. Um, if uh, if you have uh, the situation where you're just not getting getting anything going, um, then you have the situation where um, you want to cancel that out as quickly as possible. So you need to see what your coaching situation is to allow you to be able to um, uh, allow you to be able to turn that particular tactic off if they fire it. Um, the other thing is going to be uh, his final rule. The only other major, not major issue, but it does give a pretty good run pressure is that final minus 20 yards uh, or passes a 20 yards penalty. So anything under 20 yards is 75% points. So you just want to be aware that you, uh, yeah, that's right, Patriots. You just want to be uh, able to uh, make sure you get throws above that mark so that you don't also lose the 75% points on the, on the yardage that you gain. Um, yeah, and I agree, Greeny. Yeah, Z shallow cross or uh, sluggo for vert, or if you've got sluggo for uh, if you're using Garrett as a counter, uh, then uh, then that is uh, an option that you have sluggo inside of his uh, his playbook also. Um, although it seems uh, always a little bit different than the than the just base sluggo from uh, from vert. Um, but we can play uh, we can play Garrett. Uh, Garrett, I think, is probably the best counter uh, personally for. Uh, uh, yeah, I agree. Vert Sluggo is is greater than Garrett Sluggo. I certainly 100% agree with that. Um, so uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll play up with uh, Garrett. I think Garrett is a good counter to uh, to. Lynn, simply because he's got two rules there which we've talked about. He's got the halfback and TE receptions tax rule that'll happen early on, and then he's got a later rule so that you can flip those off and on depending on whether they will uh, go forward or whether they will. Actually, actually, Happy Panda, you bring up a good point because when you guys challenge the match, you get the choice of the uh, of the coach and, and captain, actually. So, uh, Fred, what, what coach and captain am I using against you to get killed? Yeah, the only thing I don't like about Zimmer being greater than Garrett in that case is that for for most players that Zimmer's rule, uh, he's only got the one the one rule that you can use, right? Um, so that one rule change is all you've got to be able to. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, that'll work. Well, then I'll I'll try to counter Lynn then, Fred. Um, and that's why I don't like Zimmer necessarily against Garrett. I mean, he's good against Garrett. I'm not saying that. But if you're a, a new player to OD, then Garrett's going to give you a much easier time because you have two opportunities to counter. And then Zimmer's rule also actually hurts you. So when you uh, hit Zimmer's rule, although it does tend to lock people up as they're not sure whether to you know, just take the points loss or, uh, or just keep trying to score. But the problem is that then every time they... Uh, complete a pass, which is what they're doing in OD, um, then, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll bet on it for sure. Um, the, uh, the issue is that's going to penalize you even further uh, if you're trying to uh, potentially counter a higher-powered Lynn player. So, again, I think Garrett has the best shot. Uh, again, I have zero shots, zero shots against, uh, against Fred. Uh, he's had my number this uh, entire season. And thanks for the, uh, thanks for the follow. Um, so let's uh, let's mark that as complete for uh, for that, and let's go ahead and let's fire up the uh, the betting. You guys know the situation with uh, uh, with with betting, I think, and how that how that works. Let me reload here and make sure we are uh, up and running with the betting. 
Okay, so the betting should be up. So now you can uh, bet, and you guys should all have uh, tokens. I'm going to send out uh, more loyalty tokens also. So I'm going to send out a, a hundred to you guys since we also got delayed. So everybody should. It's in the queue for you guys to get a loyalty uh, loyalty bonus there. Everybody will get it across the board, and then you guys can use those for uh, for various things. All right, Fred, let's uh, let's jump on, and uh, you guys can sh you can show these guys how to how to beat me to death. So let's go to play a friend. Let's find Fred, who has a wonderful um, 0-6 against Fred, and we'll see how we do. So get your betting in. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's working right now. Or let me let me start the yeah. It's working. So everything seems to be going. I see bets coming in. And again, if you have questions, the new botting is there. The the uh, exclamation point betting or exclamation point stream boss, and you can get info on being the stream boss, which. Jesus is has taken over as the new stream boss so far. So again, massively overpowered here. I'm going to be severely reduced in this case, and so I just want to try to uh, do as much damage as I can. Uh, I'm going to do uh, PA uh, passes early on to try to see if I can uh, uh, at least start to get my bonus, uh, and then control at least when I get that particular bonus. Yeah, anybody that does not bet for the opponent in this case, I question your sanity. <clears throat> so right now I'm just trying to burn through my rules. I want to make sure I get all six of those run pressures off with Garrett, regardless of who you're playing. And again, my goal in this match being severely out overpowered is just to keep up and not uh, not take too much damage or make too many mistakes. It really does start to become like... Uh, Thanks for the follow, Q Madden. Really does start to be like an old school head to head, in my opinion, in that regard. You do not want to give up uh, interceptions and that sort of thing, so you want to limit those because those not only decrease your, your scoring potential, but they also give your opportunity points. And that is the worst case scenario uh, to be able to, uh, uh, to play against somebody with, with more power. And of course, it does not help getting. I'm going to unplug my uh, my phone here, so I'm kind of holding off on my pressure there. I want to see what uh, what Fred is going to do. Let's see if we can hit uh, Hail Mary over top. And there, just can't roll it into the uh, into the end zone. We've got a six yard. I'm going to go ahead and use my pressure there because I'm getting behind. We'll see if I can use halfback blast off to the right hand side, and I'm not going to get anything because my line is just going to choke choke. <coughs> But like I said, I can always uh, I can always teach you guys how to lose gracefully in uh, in overdrive, which is part of it, really. I think you have to get over the fact that uh, that you're just going to get beat sometimes, and there's no point to get overly overly upset about it. Oh, Barry, you should have had that block, buddy. So now uh, now you see that uh, Fred is pulling away significantly. And uh, don't it doesn't even have the boost. Players just my guys running crazy routes, you know. And that's what happens when you play against. Uh, uh, you're so reduced against somebody else. My 105 Vic is playing at a 97 right now. So again, almost no chance of success. I can't run anywhere. No place to go. <laughs> I kind of treat OD like uh, like I do golf. So uh, I mean, I love playing golf. But I always say that there's three uh, three rules to golf or three phases to golf. And number one is the first one when you start out, uh, you uh, you know you're not very good. You're just getting the hang of everything. Not sure uh, you know how this game is actually going to play out. And I'm just sitting here spinning. Um, but uh, uh, Second phase is, you know, you start playing more, and so you start getting a little bit better. You start getting some good scores, but you have the situation that not everything plays well, right? You'll have a game where your drives are good, but then the short game is terrible. You'll have a game where the, the uh, drives are awful, but the short game is spot on, or putting is spot on. Thanks for the follow, Mr. Mister. And, uh, but the uh, uh, third phase of golf is when you finally realize that you're never going to be good at that game. <laughs> and so then you can finally enjoy it and go out and just hit balls and enjoy being outside. So there uh, there you see, uh, uh, yeah, the double. Yeah, anybody, you should have bet a double on that. Like I said, uh, there's just no chance. I'm so reduced at this at that point that uh, that is really, really hard to, uh, to do a whole lot. Thanks for the cheer, Speed Hydra. 
And again, if you guys are curious about the stream boss and what that does, you know, again, there's just a, a channel prize pack that whoever has the most points by the end of the week uh, will be able to, uh, uh, you know, be the be the next stream boss. And so you can see the prize pack that's involved there. And uh, I'll try to slowly add some more uh, some more prizes and stuff into that pack also as we go. Yeah, good game, Fred. Like I said, 0 and 7 now. I'm not doing well at all. Combine, you want to uh, want to play up, and, and which coach uh, which coach do you use, Combine? And we will go ahead and start a uh, a giveaway. Also, uh, we've got uh, we've hit the 50 viewers, so really again appreciate the support. Uh, hey Monty, how are you? Uh, really appreciate the support uh, during lunch. Uh, it's really awesome to see you guys out. Um, but let's uh, let's start with Monday. Monday is the uh, is the keyword. Monday giveaway is live. And uh, SBP, if you're on, man, you got to pick out. Uh, thanks for the cheer, Jesus. Uh, you have to. Uh, you, SBP's got to tell me which player is up. So which player are we giving away, SBP? And I'll try to get in touch with SBP also on uh, on chat if he's not hanging out here. I know he was on earlier. I'm typing him a message right here. Um, <clears throat> all right, so let's uh, so combine. Which uh, yeah, after this giveaway, so we're, we'll go ahead and roll up our match uh, combine. Yeah, any 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 98 or 100 overall, you can uh, you can choose. Any 98 or 100 overall from the power line promo. And now we're at a time situation. So although the 98s I think are the best deal. I think uh, if they get delayed and they don't make it out by tomorrow, uh, how long are our sets still up? You know that's going to be the uh, that's going to be the key thing. There should be a reveal uh, later on, I believe. Um, I think they're looking at uh, at something pretty soon. So just make sure you watch the Discord, watch the. Uh... So we got two weeks left on those. So I mean, maybe the 98s might still be okay. So SPP wants the uh, wants the punter. Let me see if I can give away the. Uh... I'll see if I can give away the uh, the 100 overall punter from uh, from head to head, which would be cool. So I just uh, just texted Nick so he can uh, he can let me know. So uh, combine if you want to friend up uh, while I'm waiting on the response there. And then I will uh, pick the winner. So the opponent for sure won that one. And remember, uh, betting-wise, you can bet one token. Let me complete the bet here. You can bet uh, one token up to uh, 100 tokens. Okay, So that's the most loyalty you can bet at, uh, at one time. So 1 to 100 should be your numbers that you put for the, uh, for the bet. Uh, it's Vol for Life number one. If you want to friend me up, and which coach combine? Sorry if I missed it. Okay, let me uh, let me take a look. See if we got the pending. There we go. So we got no oh, Falcons. There's Jesus. Is so what's uh, what are you in game then, combine? Yeah, so betting, uh, you uh, you just uh, use the exclamation uh, betting, and then uh, you can see the there's the rules there. So you can do bet vol. If you want to bet for me, bet that I'll win. Bet vol 50, and that'll bet 50 points that it wins. So I'm going to start up the bet now. We're going to accept the match here, and we'll see how we uh, see how we do. Oh, okay, you're great, big cow. Yeah, I know who you are. Then combine. <clears throat> Maybe. So great big cow can wear me out then too here. So bet's live, so you guys can bet. Again, it's going to be severely underpowered, minus three. 
I think I'm 0-1 against uh, against Great Big Cow right now. What's your IGN combine? Doesn't help getting the spinny football. That's always dreaded. Oh, see, and that's when you get uh, when you're underpowered. You know, you just run into the situation that uh, that your guys just drop easy passes. Um, you know, the normal things that would have held up, they just get they just get beat down. Yeah, betting is up for like 30 seconds, I think. After that, you can't bet uh, bet anymore. So you got to get your bets in. Um, or like a minute, something like that. So it's not very long. Um, so we got 14 bets in that time. Do you want me to extend the time? Let me know if I need to extend the time on the bets. But I kind of want to make it to where uh, people can't just see that uh, it's you know, really shifting one way versus the other. Oh, look at that jumping. That's crazy. Yeah, send me the send me a whisper if you uh, and let me know what your IGN is combine so I know who to look for on the on the invite. Oh come on, nah. Yeah, underpowered is uh, is rough, 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 rough. Especially minus three like that already down to somebody seven k power uh, means they're probably running already the max reducers. I mean you can see that guy's not even open, routes not even being run like they're supposed to. It's really hard to. Uh, it's really hard to do much. Yeah, giveaway is still live Monday. Monday is the giveaway. Monday. Oops. I didn't pay attention to the, the fact that I got the touchdown. It came in later than me picking the year, uh, or my timing on it was expecting it to be short. Might get some run yardage here. Look at that. Just being chased down like crazy. God, terrible. Terrible. All right, let's see what Vic is playing at. Yeah, Vic's playing at a 98 right now. And see, the, the corners just get right inside. You can't even get any, any basic throws off. It's rough. <clears throat> and it's not to say you can't win games. I mean, I certainly win uh, win a fair amount of these, uh, you know, 6K, 7K uh or 7k matches but uh, but certainly the odds are are ever in your favor if you've got higher power for sure and it feels like the hunger games when you're uh, when you're uh, playing against these guys look at that nothing can't even block brutal ah there we go okay I got you I got you combine all right hit hit me up here and we'll uh, you have that they'll come back it takes I have to complete the bet so after the match I if I do that during the match I'll completely uh, get beat so I have to pick the winners out and then complete the bet and then you'll get the points back so the points should have been returned to you all right so let's go ahead and roll the giveaway uh, SBP is still SBP we may have to stick to power line if you're on um, I've not heard back from Nick yet oh yeah no hey actually he said the punter so we can do the punter so SBP says the punter the new head-to-head -head punter so that's who we're giving away just got to go ahead from uh, from Nick um, so that's what we're uh, we're rolling for, which I think that's a good option. So everybody, get Monday in. Monday is the keyword giveaway. Monday. This is for the new head-to-head -head, uh, punter. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Fred. I always forget about uh, how much the delay is there. So I'll uh, I'll do that. So Monday is the keyword. Getting ready to roll in five, four. Three, two, one. Speed Hydra with the with the win, man. You're on a streak, on a streak, dude. All right, I will uh, I will send you a uh, whisper here, so I don't forget real quick. 
and I have your information already uh, so so we can use uh, we can use that hunter all right cool um, yeah good game congrats uh, again guys thanks for the cheer thanks uh, thanks for the uh, for the support definitely is appreciated so now let's jump in with uh, with uh, we like Fortnite combine and uh, and see how things roll here so we'll see what coach so go ahead let me uh, let me start the bet up for the match gets started so the betting is live um, so we got it one minute betting is live and so we're playing against Reich here and uh, so for Reich, for me, uh, I don't necessarily game plan it specifically. Uh, so when I'm playing against Reich, uh, I'm going to run kind of my normal scheme, um, uh, which is going to be just to try to uh, get to my three uh, spread plays that I need to get my boost. And then I'm going to just try to manage those, uh, uh, again, the rule changes uh, to watch for, uh, for those sorts of things. And, and, uh, and, and we'll see how that plays out here. Go, guy. I'm gonna jump over here and grab my other uh, other uh, tablet. Multi-stream, multi-tablet, multitasking. It's amazing I can win any matches trying to uh, trying to play this and do all that at the same time. Pull up Madden. A little bit deep, deeper the P, a little bit deeper PA boot route than what I usually like to take, but he might squeak it in there. So for the long passes, you know, again when I'm looking at those, I'm trying to get ones that I think I can get uh, at minimum the yardage. Uh, thanks for the cheer, uh, Jesus. Thanks for the follow, great big cow. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I pick plays that I know are going to be very reliable to cover those pass. Uh, challenges that I'm going to get from uh, from Reich. And if my tablet will work here, I will pull up Madden and then I can see everything all in one nice setup. Start working on the bonus a little bit more. I do like uh, some of uh, Garrett's plays. Not the best for this distance, but that hopefully will cut inside and not get picked. <clears throat> get it. My other tablet's trying to uh, log in here. And that way I can pull these up and look at them at the same time. I do like uh, I do like this play. Two crossing routes. We've got two the go route that's there, so you've got good opportunities for both. I'm going to hit the crossing route here and see if my receiver will get a block, <laughs> but instead got completely turned around on that. Terrible, terrible. Not what I wanted. Thanks for the follow, Patrick. Yeah, we're up to 73 viewers, man. That's amazing at lunchtime. Amazing. Really appreciate the support. Man, that was a terrible, terrible run. <laughs> that is about as bad as it gets right there. Oh, thanks for the cheer. And we'll have one more stream this week, also. Um, so, uh, so you know, if you want to save on and make sure, you know, if somebody takes you down for the uh, uh, for the stream boss. But man, I'm I'm much appreciated, guys. The support and everything is really amazing. I'm dragging and just making a new guest account here. Uh, that way, I can log in and see uh, uh, see things at the same time while I'm playing. Got to have 15 computers running, multiple tablets. Uh, so, uh, so Vol win. So I'm gonna pick the winner out complete that out so you guys should have your have your bets back um so uh spp so we, we've talked a little bit about uh yes yeah, so you've got channel points you can you can redeem if you've got the channel points you can redeem those and i'll uh i, I can challenge you and I'll, i'm working through those right now trying to get through them um so uh let me just put in a test account here so test um so 
we talked a little bit so with Lynn you know again what we've talked about there is that wide receiver boost and being able to uh, being able to play against that um, SBP if you have anything to uh, to add and you need to pick the second giveaway my man SBP you got to pick out which uh, which is the second okay so SBP says for the next one we'll do Thuni. Um, so SBP if you're on do you want the 98 or the uh, or the 100 which one are we giving away the 98 or the 100 Thuni? Um, but again, with uh, with Lynn, you know, we've got the increase blitz that we've got to watch out for. We know that the co corners are going to get boosted uh, by the end of that match because of his particular tactics that he fires. And so that's something that you do have to watch is how the progression of the passing game uh, changes. So we are the next giveaway uh, will be uh, the, the 100 overall Thuni uh, will be the next giveaway uh, that we do. Uh, SBP just just picked it. Um, and so that, that's part of what the stream boss gets to do. Stream boss gets to help pick the content. Uh, thanks for the follow, Melligator. Uh, the uh, stream boss gets to, to help pick with the content. What topics are we going to cover? And then uh, they also get to pick which uh, which giveaways we're going to do for a uh, for a particular promo or particular section. Um, and and I agree uh, for Lynn or for uh, for Garrett. You know the the running back boosts can be extremely helpful. And I find also for my team specifically where my offensive line until I finish this power line promo uh, today is is my weakest point on my team. Um, and so those I also sometimes will use the uh, the offensive line booster if I'm just getting killed by teams over and over again uh, on the run then I'll also add in the uh, uh, I'll also add in the offensive line booster also yes yeah, so it looks like everything's still alive looks like we're still multi streaming which is uh, which is pretty cool I think uh, hopefully it's streaming on the YouTube channel I haven't I haven't checked uh, trying to pull in all the uh, yeah we're live we're on there now which is good um, so uh, trying to pull in, just pull everything all together, which is uh, which is really cool. Um, so then, uh, when we play against, uh, let's go to Garrett maybe as probably the next popular, next most popular uh, player. Yeah, no, you, you shouldn't sell him. Uh, you can cash him in for badges, uh, but generally they don't like the like the players to be sold. Uh, a big reason is just it, it hammers the economy. There's already players that are in there, and so uh, you know that that's the the key reason why. Uh, yeah, sure, Monty. Send, what's your uh, what's your IGN, and I can I can scout you. I think I'm gonna add that into some uh, channel point things you can redeem too to scout the teams and, and check them out, give you a shout out essentially. All right, Lita. I'm working through them. I, I've been I've been a bad streamer and not uh, not doing a good job with my uh, with my challenge requests, and that's my fault. That's me, noob uh, noob streamer. I think uh, Ginger Ginger. I covered his challenge. I did his. Uh, Jake Paul. I think I. Uh, yeah, yeah. Three, <laughs> so it's uh, yeah, personal question. Yeah, you can ask a personal question. Uh, obviously, there's some limitations on what I'm going to answer, um, but certainly, uh, you know, if you redeem the channel points, uh, then I'll uh, I'll certainly uh, certainly ask a question within reason and uh, and as best as I can. Um, so I think the next one up, Jake Paul. Is Jake Paul on by any chance? He he had a request from a few days ago. Um, Yeah, I'm checking them off. I just hadn't been looking at them, Greeny. <laughs> it's just a noob Twitch streamer. Like I said, I'm used to uh, uh, I'm used to uh, being able to produce the videos, throw them up on YouTube, and call it a day, and then interact with the replies there. But uh, but it's different uh, different being able to uh, being able to stream. Yeah, I don't see him on either. We'll we'll save his uh, for the uh, for the next one. Let's see who else is in the. Uh... So Monty number one, yeah, we can take a look here, uh, Monty number. You want to send me a friend request, Monty, and that'll that'll be easier for me me to be able to see if you haven't already. Vol for life number one, send me a friend request, and then I can take a look at it. So let's do uh, happy pandas. Happy pandas, I think, is the next one. Happy you on, and we can play. I'll play with uh, Garrett, and we'll talk about Garrett a little bit. Okay, cool. Let's so uh, let's take a look at Monty's team here real quick. Trying to find you. There we go. It's not showing up. Lambo, there's Lita. Legend Killer, there's Monty. 
and Patrick. I'll add you guys all in here. Um, let's see, where did Monty go? And how did I miss Monty? Hold on, let's uh, take a look at uh, at Monty's here. Happy Panda, what's your IGN? Refresh my screen here. Am I just missing it? What did you go, Sam? Yeah, I don't see you. Are, you. are you not on? Yeah, it should be there, but uh, I don't see it. Let's find Monty here. Monty number one. Not a fan of the uh, friend system and how that's done here. All right, Falcons, let's roll. So, let me get the betting up. So betting is live, one minute roughly, to bet. <clears throat> and I will do my best. And then we'll, we'll break down Garrett a little bit and talk about that. So again, I'm firing off this increased blitz, which that's going to be a problem with Garrett. Uh, he's going to be putting a lot of pressure on your on the opponent's team, especially if they're underpowered. Um, so that's a, a key thing to watch out for. His, uh, his second play, the minor blanket coverage, is going to uh, uh, just have some boosts available for your, uh, for your players. I'm going to pull up my other tablet here so I can see. Of course, I'm in the uh, tutorial thing here. Um, and so those are just going to be boost to your uh, to your squad. I'm trying to play the tutorial and play overdrive at the same time and stream. So bull rush again is going to have some boosts uh, that are going to help to uh, help to just increase that penetration for the uh, uh, for your team. And again, what I'm going to do with uh, with, with specifically with. Garrett, my personal strategy uh, is to try to get off to as fast a start as I can, uh, simply because I'm going to end up with my f my final pressure for Garrett is going to be the uh, uh, deep pass plays. Uh, the greater than 20 yards are actually cut by 75%. Um, so if you don't get off to a to a fast start, which I have not obviously, um, but if you don't get off to a fast start or at least pick up somewhere in the middle. Then, uh, then it does cause an issue uh, trying to be able to catch back up before the end of the match if you hit that tactic uh, before you have time to uh, to make some progress. And so right now, you know, just getting just getting killed. Um, hopefully, he's not just spamming Hail Mary on me over and over again, which is an effective tactic in in unranked for sure. Because we don't have uh, we don't have. Uh, play counts you know right now so we can spam sluggo or whatever we want over and over and over and over again and there's no uh, no penalty for doing that currently so there's I think my third Hail Mary so we're not going to use that again yeah I don't like spamming either I personally don't. I don't think he's doing that but uh, but I personally don't like doing that just a general comment not anything about uh, Falcons so there we've got a little bit of a lead so hopefully uh, you know that will help to uh, get that challenge now we're not behind so uh, hopefully that'll force him to have to be able to do that and now I'm gonna test runs a little bit and see if I can get any sort of uh, any sort of progress here at all uh, with a run because we do have a little bit more power let's see if we can uh, make any headway and there we got a nice broken tackle so that way we get full points and hopefully be able to end the match uh, in the match well and a lot of times these things come down to the to the last plays. Um, I'm Tennessee man, born in Tennessee, moved around a lot when I was a kid, but uh, 
but Tennessee for sure. Been here long enough now to where I can't uh, can't cut out the accent completely. So again, you know, you want to start out quick if you can with uh, with Garrett because of the fact that again that final rule, if you're way down, especially on a higher powered team, it really is uh, it really is tough. Um, so again, we can see the the blitz chance, which is just like what we have with uh, with Lynn. But we also have uh, the uh, uh, blitz chance here with Garrett where that's going to apply that pressure. You see the minor blanket coverage I was talking about is going to boost our man coverage that we have in, uh, in overdrive. Then as we go to bull rush, then that's going to give us a nice linebacker and defensive end increase for strength and block shedding that's going to help us get further penetration with the, uh, with the uh, increased blitz. Uh, Monty, were you up? Were you the next one? Let me, uh, let me double check my uh, cue here. So if you want to play, you got to redeem. You got to redeem your channel points for the play. But I'll uh, we'll scout your team here and uh, take a look now that you're online. Um, and again, these rules you want to save them to your to where you're at the advantage. And so you got to know that these rules are coming playing against Garrett. Um, if you're playing with Lynn, for example, you want to make sure that you hold off uh, to a point where you can take the most advantage of that wide receiver boost if you want to use that. And so for Garrett, I think the ideal time is when you see them fire their uh, their earn five points halfback tight end uh, receptions tax. Once they fire that then you know that they have at least uh, eight OD points uh, before they're going to be able to fire that next rule, right? Uh, potentially. And so at the minimum, they're going to have at least five OD points in order to be able to uh, fire that rule. So if you fire the wide receiver tactic uh, right there, then that's going to give you a nice little window to be able to try to take advantage of that wide receiver bonus. When I'm playing with Lynn, I almost never even fire the wide receiver bonus. I work on firing all six of the pressures, and only if I need it at the very end, because if you're running a 14-second captain with a full scheme bonus, um, then you have the situation where you're going to be able to get through all six of Lynn's, uh, all, all six of Lynn's pressures, as well as be able to fire off that final wide receiver boost at the end if you've hit the timing, uh, if you've hit the timing really well. Uh, so you can potentially do that uh, all at the same time, which is uh, which is really nice. Um, trying to pull up the unified chat here, which is uh, which is really cool. Uh, when we do restream streaming on multiple platforms, you obviously have multiple chats coming in from Twitch from. Uh, from Twitch, from uh, YouTube, uh, all that. So, uh, so I can actually see them all in a unified chat, uh, which is really cool uh, to be able to uh, we, to be able to do. And I don't know how many people are watching on the YouTube side. I was going to refresh here and take a look and see what we've got. Just a couple, but that's fine. I've not been on YouTube in a long time. Um, but it's cool that we can see them all at the same time. Um, so yeah, again with uh, with, with Playing against Lynn, you want to have that situation where you want to, if you're playing with Lynn, playing against Garrett, or if you've got another captain uh, that has, or another coach that has a rule that you want to try to take advantage of, then you want to optimize your window for where you want to uh, be able to uh, fire that tactic off and have enough time to be able to take advantage of it. So again, if you're playing with Shanahan against Garrett, you're going to have the same sort of situation, right? Where maybe you fire your rushing touchdown bonus if you're a smash mouth player, or if you're a, uh, a passing player, you fire your 80 point touchdown right after they fired that uh, uh, that uh, halfback tax because that's going to then give you a wide window of time to be able to potentially abuse that before they're able to counter your rule with uh, with the next. Um, so that's my personal personal strategy. Uh, so Greeny says she's watching both streams. That's funny. <laughs> Which you can now you can multi watch. Which I think is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, we'll uh, uh, by the end of the day today we'll have it on Mixer also. So we'll be streaming on Twitch, we'll be streaming on YouTube, on Mob Crush, and on Mixer all at the uh, all at the same time, which will be uh, pretty cool. So that's more opportunities for people to earn rewards. If you can't hit Twitch at the time, like for example at work, uh, work blocks Twitch for me, so I can see YouTube, but I can't see Twitch. Um, and uh, so that I thought would give maybe people more opportunities to uh, to hit uh, certain things. Yeah, card shakes. Yeah, people like the card shakes, don't they? All right, so let's roll the next giveaway. What is the what is the next giveaway, guys? Or the next uh, keyword? What's the next keyword?
What do you guys want is the keyword? Yeah, I'm gonna add a scout my team, uh, a scout my team reward. Let's do that before uh, Monty Monty leaves the the chat here, <laughs> because he, he feels like he's being ignored. I don't want to ignore anybody. That is not my intent. Hold on, just a second, lead. I'll get you in just a second. Let's scout Monty's team here real quick, and I'm gonna add. I'll add in a a scout team, uh, so that we can take a look and we can have everybody discuss on uh, online uh, what we're looking at. So here is Monty's team. Uh, so we can take a look. Yeah, lunch is good. Keyword is lunch. While we're discussing Monty's team real quick, keyword is lunch for the next giveaway. And I'm behind on giveaways. We'll, we'll do back to back. So lunch is the keyword. Type it now. Uh, giveaway is live for a 100 overall uh, Thuni. And SBP, you've got to pick uh, the, uh, the next one. Um, so next, uh, next giveaway. Um, so we've talked about kind of going against Garrett. We've talked about kind of going against Lynn. We'll go through Monty, and then we'll look at uh, we'll look at the next highest uh, coach that I think uh, is there. Who you guys think? So who uh, whoever you guys think is the top one, we can do too. Lunch is the giveaway. Remember, lunch uh, is uh, is the giveaway uh, keyword. Type that in right now. Giveaway is live. Uh, so we can see here Monty Monty's team. It's got a pretty solid setup. Offensive line looks uh, looks pretty good. Uh, that offensive guard position, I imagine that's in there just for power, Monty. Um, but uh, probably in the stream around 130-ish, something like that combine. Uh, try to run. We've got viewers on. People uh, people are engaged, so so we'll we'll stay on, um, and we'll hang out a bit. Um, so certainly uh, certainly maxing some of the players on the offensive side. So let's take a look at your defense and see uh, see what we're looking at. Um, you've got a Max Pat Tillman, which I think that's a good choice as Max Pat Tillman. You have him in the same position I do at, uh, at, at uh, free safety. Um, and I think, uh, I, think that's, uh, I think that's a place to put him, personally. That's where he just does a ton of damage for me. I remember lunch is the keyword. Lunch, giveaway is live. Um, but I think you could benefit from maxing some of these players. Um, you know, obviously with the 160s, I don't know if you played out and tried to work for any of the 160 masters. Uh, See you, Jesus. Really appreciate the support, man. Thanks a lot. Um, so I think maxing out a few of those players could uh, specifically be helpful. Um, certainly, you know, you've got a few players that could benefit from that. And again, if you picked up any of the new ones from the promo or are going to by the end of Powerline, those are really cheap players uh, to uh, to max out. Um, but on the squad, I mean, I, I wouldn't focus on necessarily maxing out like your Ray Lewis or your Sean Taylor because they're going to cost a ton to uh, to be able to max out. But some of your less expensive ones, it could be key impact players. Uh, so your Shaquille Griffin, you could potentially max out, and that could be a key player. He's going to be relatively inexpensive to be able to max out. Um, and then then uh, I, I think that would be a key one. Some of these you just need to try to get, uh, I would personally say just try to get some of the hundreds set up. Um, on offense, people a lot of times don't like uh, to max out their offense first because they you know, they don't control the defense, so they want the computer side to have as much, uh, as much uh, uh, impact as they can. Uh, but certainly a maxed out Mike Evans, a uh, maxed out Michael Vick, uh, can be useful, but the problem is that I think, you know, with the team that you have, I think the problem is that uh, uh, that they're going to cost a lot to max out. So if you've not maxed anybody yet, I imagine you don't have a ton of max badges laying around. Uh, if you do, you know, burn those up on those guys, but if you don't, I would save them for the less expensive ones. Uh, save them for, uh, you know, for your Galladay like I see there. So if you're about to get Galladay, uh, then for sure you want to... Uh, uh, you know, save them for those. Those guys are going to be worth your your, your badges now at this point. And then, uh, you know, obviously we've got promo reveal stuff coming out uh, not too long. Uh, so I think that's going to be something that uh, that you can hold off for. At this point, you can hold off and see what's in the next field pass. You can uh, maybe go ahead and max out Galladay, which that's going to be well worth it. You know, you got a, another 6'4 uh, player there, uh, which is going to have a huge impact, I think. I put Galladay personally a dime. Uh, right now, uh, because I don't have him maxed out, and already he's been picking up balls like uh, like crazy. So, Lita, let's get your let's get your play in, and uh, let me pick the last. So I won the last match, so let me pick the winners there and hand out the points for that. We'll complete that bet. Uh, Lita, if you're still on, go ahead and uh, go ahead and friend me up or send me a friend match, and we will knock out your uh, your giveaway, or your not giveaway, but your uh, your request. There we go. So now I'll knock out uh, I'll knock out leaders here. We played combines. I got to get speed hydra too. 
So let's, uh, let's jump in and then I will open up the, uh, the bedding. So betting is going to go live, get ready. So the bets are up right now for a minute. So Lita obviously has got the power advantage on me, a plus three, minus two. So it's going to be uh, a bit uh, trying to get over this. Now playing against Vrabel here is an interesting one. The, the upside to Vrabel is it's going to be hard for most players to be able to try to get all of his pressures done before the end of the match to where you actually have to force them or where they'll be forced to actually make the play. And so that's one thing with, uh, with Vrabel. One reason why I swapped away from him is because it's possible to get all six of his, of his run pressures off at one time, but it is not guaranteed uh, like it is with, uh, with some other players. Let's see how we're doing with option here being reduced. Uh, hopefully we can get some reasonable yardage. Now we have a fumble, so it means we're going to lose the pressure. So that's brutal. This is, again, when you're underpowered, you're just playing at a, uh, at a significant disadvantage. But you can overcome it. And the key thing is just not to not to play frustrated. You know, you want to play uh, you want to play smart. Try not to make mistakes. Like that fumble, there's not much I could do there. You know, that was a no truck, just a contact uh, to contact fumble. Uh, not a whole lot that uh, that you can really do. So hopefully, maybe we can get four yards, uh, just barely. Let's see if we can PA boot over, put this in. And again, Vrabel's going to have some uh, some interesting. Uh, uh, tactics for us to deal with also um, we're gonna have uh, inter he's got some really nice boosts uh, for his squad or for his uh, coach man if I could get through this and get to the coaches it'd be really nice this is frustrating so I'm gonna try to pull off the defender and go deep and there the safety just got inside and able to uh, able to swat down the ball and again that's what you run into when you're higher powered um, and when I'm reduced like that it's just really challenging in general See there, we've got another another dropped ball, <clears throat> and you just got to do what you can. Just got to do what you can. And again, part of these streams is learning how to lose gracefully. So there, we got a nice run by uh, nice run by Vic. Hopefully, he'll make it to the end zone without getting without getting killed. Want to open packs later, man? This tablet. Come on now. I do not want to do that. I do not want to do that. See if we can get some long throws down the field. There we've got him open. Got the cut. Ah, oh, used one too many. I've just spammed the play, I think. Makes me nauseous. Lunch, remember giveaway is live. Lunch is the uh, is the keyword. Giveaway is live. Lunch. Oh man, barely got that pass off. Killer, killer. Defense is rough. I want to get this final challenge off, and that's going to put me at a disadvantage because I'm down 200. But if we can get uh, if we can get some some runs here, maybe we get lucky and break a play. But that's really our only only chance here is that we get a solid run by Vic. But she picked up the points there. It's going to take the win. Good game. Good game. So playing against Vrabel is one. Man, if I can get through this tutorial on this tablet, good lord. Good lord. Driving me nuts. All right, there's Vrabel. There we go, finally. So now I can see on both sides the coaches and everything. So when we're playing against Vrabel, you know, the key thing, uh, good game, excellent game. Love matches like that. Um, so let's do the giveaway so everybody doesn't. Uh, so the opponent won. Uh, what was the final score on that one? Was it double? Let me look at my history of beatdowns here. And let's see what we had. And we'll see which set of winners went out. So the history says friend matches uh, 1451 to 1289. So not quite uh, not quite doubled. So the opponent winners take the take the pot. So I've completed that bet. You guys should have your loyalty points back in. Um, so when we're playing against, uh, let's go back and we'll look at Vrabel and talk about how to play against Vrabel. So again, you know, we've got uh, a couple situations here with Vrabel uh, where you're going to get this uh, cushion uh, change at the at the backside. He's got some decent boosts that, again, are really good to help uh, start knocking down those, uh, those those balls or batting away the balls as the uh, as the match progresses. You know, by the time you get to the end, you're looking at your cornerbacks and safeties being 
boosted up by a, a plus five zone coverage. They're going to have a plus five pursuit. They're going to have plus five man coverage on the, or, or sorry, uh, uh, yeah, plus five man coverage. The cornerbacks will. The uh, middle linebackers are going to have plus five man coverage as well as tackle. So you're going to have a lot of coverage, uh, a lot of coverage boosts that are going on. Even if you have that person at a position where their power disadvantaged and you are reducing them, by the end of that match, they're going to have some boosts back in that are going to uh, impact the defense in terms of the gameplay. And so... You know, you really want to watch uh, there to uh, uh, see and adjust how you're making throws. You may have to adjust to uh, shorter coverage. Uh, and then uh, remember, lunch is the is the keyword. When we get through this, we'll roll the giveaway. Um, we'll roll, roll two back-to-back -back lunches uh, since I uh, since I didn't give away one for the last 30 minutes. Um, but uh, uh, these coverage changes may adjust how you want to throw the ball. Do you want to throw deep? Do you want to throw... Uh, uh, and we'll go Galladay for the uh, for the next one. So the first one will be Thuni. The next one, Lunch, will be uh, Galladay. So Lunch is live for two giveaways right now, back to back, because I didn't give one out uh, before. Um, but these coverage things, like I said, what you want to watch out for is whether or not you're seeing the impact on being able to make the throws. If you don't see the impact, then you can keep trying to hammer the ball uh, or keep trying to throw the ball. But if you do not see that, or if you do see the impact, then you may want to adjust whether you're doing uh, go routes, are you hitting the middle of the field, and all those sorts of things you may want to to adjust as you go um, his initial rules attempts of pass attempts tax is kind of a no you just kind of wash over that one and don't even really pay attention to it um, the, you know at, at maxed out they're gonna get three points every time they attempt to pass it has almost no impact at all other than it's a pretty solid run challenge uh, for 60 points uh, but other than that it's not really uh, something to talk about uh, the final one is going to be the adjust the increased cushion and this is where you can potentially this is where I was able to make some headway on uh, on Lita is uh, when he had the or had the when the player had the increased cushion. So uh, once that increase increased cushion coverage chance hits, then that's going to start backing up those safeties. And so for me, where I'm underpowered gives me the potential opportunity to throw underneath the coverage. And that's what you're going to watch for when you have these coaches that have this increased cushion uh, uh, tactic. And there are several of those that do. Uh, and I have to think about which ones hit. Uh, so yeah, Shanahan's one of them. But when you see that coverage change, you'll see the safeties and the corners start playing off of the line of scrimmage quite a bit more. And so that, especially if you're underpowered, you're going to be able to hit underneath the uh, the coverage with your slower receiver or with, uh, again, if you're underpowered and you're just getting reduced like crazy, then that, uh, that certainly will give you an opportunity to uh, maybe get back in the game. And so, again, we only ended 200 points out when I started down by, like, almost a thousand points early on um, and so again that gives you an opportunity to try to get back into the uh, end of the game so let me quit talking and let's roll the giveaway lunch live five four three two one and K Coys is the uh, is the winner good game let's uh, let me get the whisper out so that I do not uh, I do not forget And I think I've got your information also. Just a second, guys, so I don't uh, don't forget. Don't want to mess up anybody's giveaway for sure. And we'll immediately roll after. So lunch again, lunch. And that giveaway is live also. I'm just going to re-roll the same keyword because I also skipped over top of that trying to play and get caught up with everybody. Yeah, I don't win them either, Happy Panda. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, let's uh, roll it again. I'm going to cancel that out. Lunch again is the uh, keyword. <laughs> Lunch, we're going to roll in. And this is for... The uh, 100 overall Gala Day. 100 overall Gala Day is the next giveaway per our stream boss, SBP. And I'm rolling in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Solutions for Everyone Net is the, uh, is the winner. Thanks for following. Been following since May 20. Almost a month. Really appreciate it. 
let me get your whisper out here and that was for a 100 overall Galladay and I believe I have uh, your info also let's see yeah I've got it Right. So let's jump back in. So who is the who's the final coach we want to talk about? SPP, do you have a, a choice on the final coach? We've kind of talked about Lynn. We've talked about Garrett. We have talked about uh, uh, Vrabel. It should have come in on both. I think. Uh, I think Greeny. I can't see the I can't see the live stream from uh, on there right now. Looks like two watching. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to play with that. Yeah, but they, it should be coming in. Should be coming in the uh, the live stream chat. Uh, should be coming in. Let me see. Uh, can No Moss, I don't. Uh, I don't work for EA. Game Changers don't work for EA. We uh, we work. Uh, it, we're, we're just volunteers. Um, so we uh, we volunteer our time to uh, to help the community, try to uh, just make the game better. So we bring content and feedback in from uh, you know multiple forums, you know Reddit, streaming with you guys, conversations with you guys in multiple chats, and then we help try to drive feedback to EA to try to help improve the game, uh, you know based on what they uh, what they release. Yeah, statistics are crazy. I mean, there's a lot of people who win. I mean, there's really no way to you, you can't cheat the bots really either. I mean, these are these are third-party bots used by thousands of sites and, and thousands of streamers. And and there's just not a there's not a way you can really cheat the bots. So, I mean, it's just it's just purely statistics. It's like OD when uh, you know, when you're overpowered and you still lost by 500 um, some of it's just statistics right the roll of the dice in that case uh, might not be exactly what uh, what you wanted so let's do a uh, how many folks do we have on the, on the uh, YouTube side oh yeah I see a few people over there just specifically and I'm like I said trying to watch the unified chat here so we so we have that and we'll roll out uh... there we go cool yeah, it seems to be working. So the YouTube guys, you guys are seeing okay? Everybody's seeing the stream good? Yeah, Moss, I personally, so Moss has asked from YouTube, he's asked, uh, what do you think about Madden Mobile? I mean, perfectly, personally, I love it. I mean, I've been playing it for uh, for five years, I guess, you know, since season one. Um, and it's one of my favorite things to kind of just hang out and do when I have some you know free time outside of work. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it's a fun thing for me. It's something that I can do on my own time. I don't have much time to play console because it's got to load up. Uh, you know, you've got uh, longer start times to get going. Madden Mobile, I can pick up. I can do it on the go. And uh, really has been awesome for me. We've got, uh, you know, great, great league setups here. Uh, you know, a lot of us guys have been playing for a long time. We're all in competitive leagues. Uh, and, uh, and that really helps kind of you know, build that community aspect, involved in tons of chats and things, um, and, uh, you know, so those things are all really, really important for me, uh, you know, just personally and as a game changer, it really helps, uh, you know, take feedback, you know, from certain sectors of the community and, and make sure we're trying to do what we can to, to get better and to provide good feedback. So who's the, who's the last coach we'll, we'll go over? Hey, enjoy lunch, Sanford. Who's the last coach? <laughs> yeah, we could talk about John Madden. So uh, Madden Gamer has said, uh, talk about John Madden. You know, the, pr the problem with John Madden is he just doesn't have, his plays are not fantastic, right? He's got some decent ones with Z-Spot. P A T E N whip unders obviously is decent, um, but uh, but he just doesn't have any defensive tactics. 
Um, you know, they're run challenges, but they don't have any sort of coverage changes. They've got some boosts, um, but uh, but but it's interesting. Um, and he's just not the best coach to go with personally. Um, yeah, he's just not just not useful. He's not going to be helpful for OD. Not particularly helpful for uh, for LVL. And there's certainly uh, certainly a lot better. Uh, certain lo- uh, certainly a lot better options out there to play with uh, versus um, versus um, LVL Arena or Overdrive. You can you can pick better options personally, in in my opinion. Yeah, people use him. People people like him, um, but it's uh, I I feel like a lot of people are at a disadvantage compared to playing with uh, with other coaches. Let's put up a poll, and we'll do a poll on which is the last coach we'll talk about because I've got uh, I see some uh, I see some discrepancies in the uh, in the chats here so let's run a, uh, a poll here so we'll do a new poll and so which final coach and let's see we've got Shanahan left we've got Zimmer left we talked about Vrabel we've talked about Garrett we've talked about uh, Lynn um, so really that gives us uh, Shanahan Zimmer and Rivera, who is the final? Um, you guys do have, if you uh, if you want to use bits, you can. Um, bits will uh, get you extra votes, so you can vote extra for which coach you might want to see. Um, so let's put the poll up, and you can use channel points also. One channel point adds a vote also. So the poll should be uh, should be live. If you guys are on YouTube, you guys may not be able to see the specific poll. Um, I may have to. Uh, May have to see how that all blends together, um, but you can certainly join on Twitch um, and you can jump in and uh, and see the poll there if you can. But I'll take your guys' numbers into account also on the YouTube side, guys. If you'll chat in, let me know who uh, uh, who we're going to play with, and I'll play. We'll play Speed Hydra because I owe him a uh, I owe him a giveaway. Um, we'll play Speed Hydra while, or I owe him a, a play. Uh, from his channel points. So Speed Hydra also has got me at a, uh, a power disadvantage. You're seeing a pattern here. Um, so 6539 to 6147 playing with Lynn. Again, I've got Garrett in, which is good. So I think that will help me uh, be able to uh, be able to go. Uh, give me at least a better chance. And so again, with uh, playing with Garrett, I want to try to get up as quickly as I can. And I'm going to watch for that wide receiver boost when he actually tries to apply that. Um, I hate when that does that. That flipped. So again, YouTube guys, let me know, uh, and any Mob Crush folks, let me know which uh, which coach you might want to be able to uh, to play with. So again, the options that we have for the poll, we have uh, Shanahan, we have uh, Zimmer, and we have Rivera on the poll. So if you guys put your uh, put your information in the chat or which one you would like to see, and I will take that into account for the uh, for the votes manually if you can't access the Twitch voting right now. Really appreciate everybody coming out. Really cool doing the multi-stream. I think that's really awesome. Uh, we can see, uh, uh, you know, having all these chats all together. And once we add in Mixer, it's going to be it's going to be awesome. Hopefully, we can get some more viewers, more followers, you know, more people just engaged in the in the chat. Right? Like I said, it's not just to help support the channel here, help me upgrade things, and help me do better with the, with the content, uh, but it certainly does uh, help us show that Madden Mobile is something that people want to watch, uh, something that people want to see, something that people will turn out to see. And uh, I mean, look at this, we've been streaming for almost an hour and a half, and we have, uh, have still 60 viewers online uh, during lunchtime, middle of the day, uh, so really, really appreciate the support, guys. Really appreciate the support. Close game. Close game. Yeah, so I'm kind of including stuff in there. If uh, I've, I've added in manually the the people that were on YouTube, I had them manually added in to the uh, into the chat or into the bot, um, so that way it can uh, also take into account the people that uh, that were on YouTube. Don't double up on me though, if you if you can. No, you know, if you enter on one side, uh, I'm not going to enter you on the other, right? So if you have the matching IGNs, I'm not going to put you in twice, for example. So that way it stays stays fair. We want everybody to have an equal chance uh, with the giveaways, which is why I changed out the uh, stream boss stuff to where it's not completely tied to, uh, you know, a player giveaway. Uh, I want to make sure that those things stay fair for everybody to be able to get. Uh, yeah, nice captain bonus. That's one thing that I always say with OD and, and other competitive guys. You know, if you're if you're winning, 
and uh, and you have not gotten your captain bonus or that your opponent has not gotten their captain bonus then you are not really winning that match um, because uh, they can always get their bonus and uh, and do some damage at the uh, at the end um, so we'll see if I can catch back up here speedy hydra with the uh, with the solid solid game there solid game I need a good run here I need my offensive line to hold get in there Vic get in there Vic did we pull it out did we pull it out oh great match great match man that was close I don't like playing down on power don't like it don't like it yeah ham sandwich <laughs> so solo is hanging out on YouTube he's on the YouTube side Let's see. Close match. Good game. All right. So let's see. Let's go ahead and we'll roll. Uh, what well, we've done four giveaways, I think. SBP. What is the? Uh, what's the next giveaway? What is the final giveaway for today? We'll call it a day at 1:30. Jesus is currently is the stream boss. Again, if you want the prize, uh, the the channel prize package, um, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Then, uh, then let's pull up what that is. So if you uh, if you become the stream boss by the end of the week, which will probably be Wednesday, I'm going to be traveling, uh, going to be traveling on Wednesday. Um, yeah, SPP is good. SPP is a stream boss, so I think we should always give props to the uh, to the stream boss. Um, thanks for the cheer, Mabs. Um, so uh, you know, you you guys can knock me out essentially, or knock out the current stream boss by following by bits, which is cheer subs so subscribers or immediate kills and uh, and then uh, uh, the new stream boss earns the prize pack which right now is you get to be moderator for a week uh, which I need to uh, I need to add in uh, SBP as the uh, as the mod he should have mod power but uh, we'll double check and make sure so the final coach that we came up with everybody wants to see Shanahan looks like looks like Shanahan was the final from the aggregated uh, aggregated poll um, so again, if you guys are on uh, on the YouTube side, you know certainly you can watch from there. If you want to join the giveaways, it's uh, easier, obviously, for me to do that inside of, uh, of of Twitch. I will work on a bot to put everything together, so I don't have to manually enter you guys in. Uh, but hopefully, uh, hopefully that's something we can work work on and uh, and get better with as we do this multi-stream, which I think again is really cool. I want to be able to bring in all the platforms. So SBP uh, giveaway is live right now. Giveaway is live. Thanks for the cheer, the Clays. And for you guys on YouTube, for the stream boss, you will have to, that will have to be on Twitch. That's something that's not offered on YouTube or Mob Crush. Uh, or, uh, so, so you would have to be on the Twitch side of things to be able to, uh, uh, to go, but just hop over on there. The link pops up occasionally on the, on the bot. Just follow the page there. And you do have to follow. That's the other thing. You do have to follow to be able to, uh, to be able to win. So SBP. And then the final coach looks like, like I said, Shanahan. So we'll talk a little bit about playing against uh, Shanahan. And again, welcome your guys' thoughts and opinions. This is just the way that I personally play against Shanahan. Um, not yet. Don't know yet. I'll, uh, I'll, the Discord should have that, and I'll host the channel through here also. So you should get alerts out to Wazoo when, uh, when that goes live for the, uh, for the new stream. Thanks for the cheer, Clays, and thanks for the follow. Um, but... Uh, when we're playing against us, so we'll talk Shanahan a bit, and then we'll we'll call it a day, and we'll do our final uh, final giveaway SBP. Again, guys on YouTube, I'll try to enter you in, and uh, we'll do manually entered. But uh, certainly, if you can jump over onto uh, onto uh, Twitch, then it makes it a little bit easier for the for the automatic rolls, for example. Um, but certainly, uh, bringing everybody in to uh, to make sure that uh, you know we're all together and integrating these uh, these chats all in one spot. It's funny the top command is betting, so it seems like people people like the betting thing. Really, I want to know your guys' feedback on that too, is how the uh, how the betting is is going and how you guys like that. 
Um, so when I'm playing against uh, Shanahan, you know, I know I'm going to get the run uh, pressures from him uh, from the uh, the anti-vertical tactics that he has. He's going to have the minor bull rush and bull rush, which means that his uh, cornerbacks, linebackers are going to get some zone coverage boosts. Um, but uh, but then, uh, you know, again, those could be potentially minor. The zone coverage side of things, I'm not uh, too awful worried about an OD, honestly, uh, because it's easier to break, I think, than, uh, than the normal man coverage. And you can potentially abuse Shanahan at the end when you see that coverage shift with the increased cushion. If you're playing underpowered, if you've got a slower receiver, slower tight end, then you can look to try to hit them. When you see those cornerbacks and safeties start to back up, then that gives you a potential opportunity to be able to uh, get that pass in underneath the coverage. Um, I'm also going to watch for the rules. So a smart Shanahan player, they're not going to fire the rules, the offensive rules that he has until they're in a position to be able to uh, take advantage of it themselves. Now, if somebody's you know not, not very uh, versed in the game and not understanding what they're doing, just firing off things, then they may fire these randomly. But when you see these tactics come up, you've got to look at the situation where I play it as if the person does understand how to run Shanahan. And if I'm playing with Shanahan, then if I'm going to fire the rush touchdown bonus, for example, not when I'm 40 yards away from the end zone. I'm going to fire that when I've uh, thrown a pass short and I'm very close to the end zone to be able to uh, uh, to be able to. Uh, take advantage of that as quickly as possible, right? And I'm going to assume that the other player is going to do that. So if I see that boost come up, then what I'm potentially going to try to do, if I can't get a solid strike uh, into the end zone, then I'm going to uh, try to see if I'm close enough to try to see if I can take advantage of that rush touch rush touchdown bonus. If I'm playing with Garrett or another player, then if I'm if it's looking like a situation where I'm not going to have much success in running the ball, then I'm going to try to counter that tactic as, or that or that rule as quickly as I can uh, with maybe. Garrett's first tactic. If we see the pass touchdown bonus, it's going to be the same thing. If I see that pass touchdown bonus hit, you, you don't freak out about it. You fire the ball into the end zone and see if you can make contact with the receiver. Thanks for the cheer, Speed Hydra. Um, you uh, you fire the ball into the end zone. See if you can take advantage of that because those first two offensive tactics from Shanahan are both for you and your opponent. Both of you can take advantage of it, and so that's one key thing to keep in mind is that it's not just uh, not just for your opponent yet. Um, where you start to run into the trouble and where you want to save a second rule if you have it available is when you see your opponent with Shanahan fire the final uh, passing touchdowns points bonus. When that happens, then you've got the situation that only they can take advantage of that bonus, which means if they're throwing the ball good and they're getting good open opportunities, then they're going to be able to smoke you for not only the yardage points, the touchdown points, but they're going to get up to that 80-point bonus uh, on the touchdowns. And so that really can make up ground at the end of a game uh, or just completely uh, beat you down uh, to where you cannot come back out. Um, the uh, uh, you, you, so if you've got that second rule uh, available, like with a uh, uh, if you're playing with Shanahan against Shanahan, or if you're playing with Garrett against uh, against Shanahan, then you may want to, or you certainly want to turn that rule off as quickly as possible. And you also don't want to delay in turning that off because by the time you see that rule pop up on your screen, that means your opponent has probably already gotten at least one chance to try to take advantage of that. So you want to make sure that you. Uh, uh, that, that, that you turn that off as quickly as possible once you see that self boost going on. Usually, that's all someone is going to be able to get off at the end of the game. Um, and if you have a 14-second captain and you're playing with Shanahan, uh, then you're going to be able to get through all three and, and the scheme bonus. If you're going to be able to get through all three rushing challenges, you're going to be able to get through the three key offensive tactics to add the points, and you also will have the opportunity to fire off force cushion at the very end of the match, um, which actually I think is is really nice because, again, that gives you a couple more opportunities um, to uh, uh, to bomb away into the end zone if the player has not countered that rule. Um, so keep that in mind. So if they do have that, then there's an opportunity to still close out that match with uh, excess points by forcing your defense into cushion no matter which tactic you've already fired because a 14 second OD captain with the scheme bonus is going to be able to still get that force cushion off with only a few seconds left. So it won't show up as a challenge to you, but the opponent that you're playing with, playing with Shanahan, is going to get that as a benefit uh, when they're when they're playing with him. 
So again, that's just my personal uh, personal thoughts on this. Uh, I think uh, SBP has uh, has chosen the topic for uh, for next week. SBP, if you're on, do you want to uh, type in the chat what you have chosen as the uh, as the topic? And the SBP is the giveaway, or SBP is the keyword SBP. So type SBP uh, in the chat, and then we will roll the uh, we will roll the giveaway. SBP. All right, I'm going to roll. And I may roll this one outside so that I can roll the, uh, well, that's okay. We'll, we'll roll it in here. They're all, all the, uh, all the users are in here, so they should be there. Let me add in. All right, so let's roll the giveaway. SBP, this is for SBP has chosen the 100 overall Jensen Center. So this is the final giveaway. 100 overall Jensen Center in five, four, three, two, one. Let's try that again. Make sure you got SBP in there. SBP. SBP is the keyword. Go ahead and enter SBP again, guys. SBP. The bot decided it wanted to choke. SBP. It all of a sudden called everybody an ineligible user. <laughs> SBP. We give you guys about uh, 60 seconds or so. And then we'll close out and call it a Monday. Because I still have grinding to do. I've still got to get this final... 400 cells that I need to finish off Thuni. So, and I think I can pull that off. I think that's going to be simple. Got a lot of stamina from uh, from the OD reset today, so that's solid. All right, guys, SBP. All right, we're going to roll the giveaway. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. All right, Tricks Chase, following since June 12th, man. Thanks for the follow. New follower. Uh, guys, really appreciate it. I will. Uh, I'll send you a whisper right now, Trix Chase, um, and then we will work on getting your uh, your prize for that for the giveaway. Trix Chase. Let's see, Trix Chase. That's it. All right. Send me your UID. All right, so that was for the 100 overall center. Guys, again, really appreciate it. Happy Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I hope betting was simpler. I hope the stream boss stuff is is, uh, is a little more understood now. Um, and again, we've got, uh, uh, the, you can see who the speed, uh, the current stream boss is. Um, and so we'll play that out through the week. And as you guys add follows, you know, bits that come in, subscribers, then uh, those people will slowly take over and wipe out the, the current boss. And so so whoever is the stream boss, probably by the end of the stream on Wednesday, uh, will win the uh, will win the next uh, next channel prize pack. Uh, but again, thanks guys, thanks for the support. Still at 60 viewers, absolutely amazing. Hope it's interesting. We'll be in touch with. Uh, I'll, I'll post what the next. Uh, uh, the next topic is for Wednesday, and then we will also have a special announcement uh, for Wednesday as well. Uh, so again, look forward to seeing you guys then. Happy Monday, and we'll catch you guys on Wednesday.